Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. If you believe the state has proven all of the elements of both offenses, um, I'd still ask you to find Mr. Cleveland not guilty. Uh, and I'd ask you to find him not guilty um, on the basis that uh, you can find him not guilty even if you find that the state's proven the elements. If you think it's not fair to convict him of these two offenses, and, and that uh, ability to find him not guilty, if you think it's not fair, is uh, basically what's called jury nullification. It comes from uh, the instruction you'll be given by the judge on what reasonable doubt means. Reasonable doubt, um, as the judge will explain it to you, basically says if you find that the state hasn't proven all of the elements of the offense, or the two offenses, you must find Mr. Cleveland not guilty. If you find that the state has proven all of the elements of the offenses, you should find Mr. Cleveland guilty. Uh, and that uh, must and should uh, language might sound kind of like a distinction without a difference, but it's, it's a distinction with a massive difference. Uh, because it's saying to you that you, the members of the jury, you can find him not guilty even if you find the state's proven all the elements, if you think it's not fair, uh, if you think it's not fair to brand this individual a criminal, simply because he was out there doing his job, simply because he was out there at what he thought to be a safe remove, simply because he thought he was following uh, a federal court case from Boston that gave him the right to videotape, um, and because uh, he just wasn't out there with criminal intent, you have that power to, to acquit him. Uh, and I'd ask you to do that, uh, to find him not guilty, uh, to use your power. You don't, have to, you don't have to listen to what I say. You can disregard it. But can you look at Mr. Cleveland and say, yeah, I want to brand you a criminal. I want to brand you a convict. Is he the type of person that we want to leave with a criminal record based on this conduct? Uh, I suggest and hope not. I hope you would be able to uh, see the type of person Mr. Cleveland is from the way in which he testified, uh, based on what he was out there doing. He wasn't out there willy-nilly. He was out there doing his job as a reporter. Uh, and utilize your powers to find him not guilty because he's simply not the type of person that should be left with a criminal record. But uh, initially I'd say he didn't fi violate uh, either statute. He's not guilty simply because the state hasn't proven the elements. But again, if you disagree with me, I'm asking you to use your powers of jury nullification to find him not guilty. And I'm not asking you one bit to disregard what the judge is saying with respect to the law. In fact, I'm asking you to follow his instructions on what the law is <coughs> because his instructions will tell you you have that power to find not guilty and i'm asking you to do so thank you very much we'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com freekeen.com features audio video and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard freekeen.com i should be in Keene, new hampshire with the free staters <laughs>